Nikki and Ian's love fest. Um, is Little Nick throwing some major shade at Brit and Iggy? Uh, and did two contestants on The Bachelor fall in love broke back bachelor style? Say it ain't so. I don't know if the what internet is, is ready for this, but we've got more on DHR. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Not only is it a crazy news day in Hollywood, but Misty Kingma is back! I am so excited to be on DHR. I know you guys have no idea, and I love Dana so much. Speaking of love, let's start off with Nikki and Ian. Ooh. Oh my goodness, get out the tissues, y'all, because we are about to get an inside look. Yes, get the tissue. At Ian and Nikki's wedding, Nikki just posted an Instagram video showing some of what was happening last month. Cause they can write the stories, and they can sing songs, but they don't make fairy tales sweeter than ours. And they could climb mountains high. It's so beautiful. I know, it's almost too much. It's like almost too lovey-dovey for me. It's kind of like in your face to Nina. But what about this caption? You are my every dream brought to life. We are a cosmic collision. This is a lifetime felt in every moment. I'm by your side, my love, my human. Happy one month. What are they gonna do for their one year That's anniversary? Deep. I don't know. Super deep. But we have more love news. Yes. Because Taylor Swift was spotted on a date last night in New York City, of course, with Calvin Harris. So Aww. they were holding hands and they were in New York's Little Italy area and they were spotted going into this Italian restaurant, Lasso restaurant. Mm -hmm. And of course, she's in one of her like flirty floral crop top and skirt outfits. So cute. And he's in like a leather jacket. <laughs> They're so official. Like opposite. They're official. Yes. Like, come on. They're official because they shared a salad and two gluten-free pizzas in the back of the restaurant, so it's official. Nothing says love, but like gluten-free gluten -free pizza. pizza. Um, there's also a whole lot of love. Seriously, this is a love day in Hollywood. Oh, because I love you. Oh, I love you. Oh, my gosh. Love potion number nine here. Um, but seriously, someone is drinking that love potion number nine on The Bachelor because it seems like two of the guy contestants are falling in love with each other. But this other. is The Bachelorette. Yes, this is The Bachelorette. They're there for the girl, but they're like for there Caitlin. for each other. That would be such a crazy twist on ABC. Well, maybe it's for dramatics, perhaps. Ratings. I don't know. You guys look at the promo. There's already love on The Bachelorette. Chemistry, do you think that's real? 100% real. But it's not what you think. Falling in love with a man never crossed my mind. Monday, 8, 7 central. Clint and JJ, they're so into each other. This broke back bachelor. We've grown very close in the shower. Will blow. I'm a success story. Your. Kayla's not the right girl for me. Mine. I love JJ, so I need to roast tonight. The Bachelorette, new Monday on ABC. Broke back bachelor. And we got way more drama because, you know, the UK girl group Little Mix is saying mm -hmm. that they wrote Iggy and Britney's song Pretty Girls for their album, but it wasn't good enough oh, for their album no. because they're perfectionists and they thought they could do better, so they offered it up to anyone else that wanted it, and Britney wanted it. I don't know that they should have said that because it is a no. little bit of a dig, just it, saying. It definitely is. It was probably coming from a nice place of like music. I think so they just wanted the, the world to know that they wrote it. That's what I think. Mm, well, maybe that's what it's about. Um, let's move on to Kim K, y'all. She was looking all like Marilyn Monroe on the newest cover of Vogue Brazil. Now, rewind back. At first, I was like, is this a wig? No, clearly no. it's not. Remember, she actually dyed her hair platinum blonde for Paris Fashion Week. Yeah. And she wanted to keep it blonde for longer, but, you know, at least she had this memorialized as Marilyn on Vogue. Because I think they're trying to say that she's like the modern Marilyn Monroe with her curvy figure yes. and her platform platform like her big stage that she's on oh, like she's an yes. icon but she's not an actor no. but yeah i get what you're saying and more in the kardashian world we have a new mid-season finale promo for keeping up with the kardashians which is going to air sunday on e Ooh. and we get to see that montana car crash that chloe kylie kim and i think northwest were in and it's oh, legit no. scary i'm always gonna love Bruce, no matter what after everything you've seen this season, you still haven't seen it all. We're sliding, Chloe. Oh my god, but I don't have my seatbelt on. Seriously, Kim, wear your seatbelt. All of you, wear your seatbelts. Luckily, they were all okay. Yes. We will get to see it unfold if you watch that yes. show. Please be careful. And it's time for Weird Wednesday. What? 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 <laughs> And things got 
got real weird yesterday at LAX when JLo, the beautiful JLo, was freaking confetti bombed by this weirdo named Richie the Barber. Okay, he looks as a really clown. scary. This clown looks scary. I know. I would be freaked out. Okay, confetti. Not scary. The no. clown, way scarier. I agree. His she, face is like tatted up. But she also had this like short haircut going on too. So everyone's like, do we freak out about the confetti or the clown or the haircut? I can't decide. I know. But you know who was not freaking out? J Lo. She did not even lose a step. She literally just kept walking. She didn't flinch. There was just confetti. Okay. She didn't even see it. She didn't want to draw attention to it. I get it. I know. She was fabulous. Speaking of love, love. Do you think Kim Kardashian is like a modern Marilyn Monroe? Speaking of love, exactly. um, are you excited for the weekend? It's only hump day. But seriously, um, you had a really good question earlier. You wanted to know, would you rather date Ian or Calvin? I would rather date Ian. I choose Taylor. <laughs> Trick question. And then DHR. Yes, you guys, thanks so much for watching, Misty. It's so good to see you. I know, I'm you. excited that I'm back. Have a great Woo. weekend, you guys. I'm Dana Ward, and we'll catch you guys tomorrow with more news straight from Hollywood. If you're still here, you can click to the left to check out DHR, all about Meek Mill and Nicki Minaj. Are they not even engaged? What? Uh, and then click on the right, you know, for V Hudge, Health Mental S, G Avoid, JB, and you know what all those things stand for. If you don't, you better watch yourself.